At the edge of the vast Atlantic, where the Hudson River meets the sea, lies an expansive archipelago that forms the metropolis known to the world as New York City. Over the years, New York has served as a major gateway for immigrants entering the United States. This constant flow of new residents from across the globe make the city a cultural melting pot. New York City is a top spot for tourists with lots of exciting places to see. Let's check out some of the best ones. On Liberty Island in the heart of New York Harbor is a symbol of freedom and democracy known worldwide, the Statue of Liberty. This figure was a gift from France to the United States in 1886, celebrating 100 years since the Declaration of Independence. The statue holds a torch, symbolizing a light leading to freedom. Her crown has seven spikes for the seven continents and oceans, showing that freedom is a right for everyone around the world. She holds a tablet with the date July 4th, 1776, connecting her to the origins of American freedom. Broken chains at her feet represent freedom from oppression and the victory of liberty. Visitors can explore the interior structure, thanks to Eiffel's ingenious support system, and ascend to the crown for panoramic views of the harbor and beyond. Access to this monumental statue is exclusively by ferry, with departure points from Battery Park in New York City or Liberty State Park in New Jersey. These ferries not only serve Liberty Island, but also Ellis Island. Ellis Island, found in the upper New York Bay near where the Hudson River meets the ocean, played a crucial role in the story of American immigration. Between 1892 and 1954, it was the busiest checkpoint for over 12 million people hoping to start anew in the United States. This island became known as the Gateway to America. It was also called the Island of Hope and Tears because of the varying fates of those arriving. While many were allowed entry after their procedures, some were held back for health or legal reasons, and a few were returned to their homeland. After it closed in 1954, the island was neglected until restoration efforts in the 1980s and 1990s brought it back to life. Today, it stands alongside the Statue of Liberty as a symbol of the nation's heritage. The World Trade Center in New York City has been reborn since the tragic events of September 11, 2001, with landmarks and facilities that highlight architectural achievement, remembrance, and urban development. At its heart is One World Trade Center, also known as Freedom Tower. Soaring to a height of 1,776 feet, a nod to the year of America's independence, it's the tallest skyscraper in the Western Hemisphere. Its design sets a new standard for safety. The building has a sturdy concrete base to resist potential attacks, and its core, containing elevators and safety systems, is wrapped in thick concrete for extra security. The One World Observatory, spanning the 100th to 102nd floors, provides incredible views of New York City and beyond. This space, complete with exhibits and dining options, draws visitors from around the world. Adjacent to this structure is the National September 11 Memorial and Museum, which goes on as a solemn reminder of the tragic events of September 11, 2001 and the World Trade Center bombing in 1993. It serves to honor the memory of those who were lost. Designed by Michael Arad and Peter Walker, the memorial known as Reflecting Absence is marked by two vast reflecting pools located where the Twin Towers once stood. These pools are the largest artificial waterfalls in North America, covering nearly an acre each. 
Around these pools, bronze panels bear the names of everyone who died in both the 2001 and 1993 attacks. These names aren't listed alphabetically. Instead, they're placed by connections, reflecting victims' locations during the attacks, their personal relationships, and their work or agency ties. Beneath the memorial, the museum delves into the events of 9-11 through a mix of media displays, real objects, and personal stories, providing a place for reflection and learning about the impact of that day. Within the complex of the rebuilt World Trade Center stands the Oculus, also known as the World Trade Center Transportation Hub. Designed by Santiago Calatrava, the Oculus is envisioned to symbolize a dove being released from a child's hands, conveying hope and renewal. The structure is known for its distinctive architecture, featuring a series of white rib-like elements that come together to form an elliptical shape, offering a dramatic visual impact both inside and out. The Oculus serves as a critical link in New York City's transportation network, connecting various subway lines and the PATH trains, ensuring seamless travel between Manhattan and New Jersey. It's designed to handle up to 250,000 pedestrians each day. Beyond its transportation role, the Oculus is a lively center for shopping and dining with a multitude of retail stores and eateries. Its expansive interior offers a unique urban retreat for both visitors and locals, transforming it into more than just a transit station, but a place for community engagement and leisure. The World Trade Center's redevelopment also includes spaces for cultural and community gatherings, like the Performing Arts Center and Liberty Park. These additions ensure the site remains not just a commercial and transport hub, but a beacon of cultural life in the city. The Financial District sits at the southern end of Manhattan Island and is the heart of finance, banking, and trading in the United States. Wall Street, a key part of this district, is one of the most famous financial hubs in the world. It's home to the New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ, making it a critical player in the global financial scene. Not far from Wall Street, the Charging Bull statue symbolizes financial optimism and growth. It attracts many visitors and has become a key symbol of the area. Spanning the East River to connect Manhattan and Brooklyn, we'll find the Brooklyn Bridge. A groundbreaking aspect of the bridge was its use of steel wire cables combined with suspension bridge designs. These cables gave the bridge unmatched strength and the ability to bend without breaking, supporting heavy weights and standing up to strong winds. Building the Brooklyn Bridge was an enormous challenge. It took 14 years, from 1869 to 1883, and was marked by significant obstacles, including the death of its chief engineer, John A. Roebling. Another major hurdle was the health issues faced by workers. While constructing the bridge's foundations underwater, many suffered from what was then called caisson disease, now known as decompression sickness. This condition was caused by the high-pressure environment of the caissons. Today, the Brooklyn Bridge is not just a route for vehicles, but also home to a broad pedestrian pathway. This walkway offers stunning views of the New York City skyline, the Statue of Liberty, and the East River, making it a favorite spot for both locals and visitors. At the heart of New York City, we'll find the Theater District and Broadway. Stretching from West 40th Street to West 54th Street and between 6th and 8th Avenues, this area is the epicenter of American theater and holds a prestigious position in the global entertainment scene. Broadway, a name that resonates with theater lovers worldwide, encompasses 41 professional venues, each with a capacity of 500 or more seats. These theaters are situated in the theater district and around Lincoln Center, 
showcasing the highest caliber of commercial theater in the English-speaking world. Famed for hosting enduring classics and innovative new works, Broadway sets the pace for global theater trends. It offers a diverse array of shows, including musicals, dramas, comedies, and revivals of classic plays, reflecting the wide range of human stories and appealing to varied audiences. Times Square, at the core of the theater district, draws approximately 50 million visitors each year. It's best known for its eye-catching electronic billboards and neon signs. These vibrant displays are key to Times Square's identity, lighting up the area with the energy and buzz that New York City is famous for. The New Year's Eve ball drop is a highlight, drawing millions to Times Square and billions more to their TV screens worldwide. This tradition started in 1907 and has become a symbol of ringing in the new year, paused only for wartime blackouts. Recently, Times Square has become more pedestrian friendly. Parts of it are now vehicle-free zones, equipped with chairs and tables for people to unwind and enjoy the scene. This change has made the area safer and more welcoming for visitors. Fifth Avenue, parallel to the theater district, is a center of high fashion and luxury, with its influence reaching beyond New York to shape fashion and retail trends around the world. Notably, the rent for retail space on Fifth Avenue is among the highest in the world. More than just a shopping destination, Fifth Avenue offers some of the most prestigious and desirable living spaces in the world, featuring luxury homes with stunning views of Central Park and New York City's skyline. But Fifth Avenue's appeal isn't limited to shopping and luxury living. It's also a vital part of New York's cultural scene. The avenue is lined with significant architectural landmarks, including the Empire State Building, the main branch of the New York Public Library, and St. Patrick's Cathedral. The Empire State Building is a hallmark of early 20th century architecture. This iconic skyscraper, completed in 1931, soared to the title of the world's tallest building, a record it maintained for nearly four decades. Standing at 443.2 meters, including its antenna, it broke new ground in skyscraper height. Its construction, completed in just 410 days, was a remarkable achievement for its time and scale. The building is an example of the Art Deco style, distinguished by geometric shapes, symmetry, and prominent lines. Its spire and mast, which were originally designed to anchor airships, have become signature elements of its silhouette. One of its pioneering features was the introduction of fast automated elevators, essential for navigating such a tall structure. These elevators are among the quickest and most efficient in the world even today. The main branch of the New York Public Library, officially called the Stephen A. Schwarzman Building, is famous for its beautiful bow art design. The building is easily recognized by its iconic lion statues named Patience and Fortitude, which guard the entrance. This library is among the largest and most significant public libraries in both the United States and the world. It boasts a collection exceeding 53 million items, ranging from books and ebooks to multimedia materials, along with rare manuscripts, maps, and photographs that are hard to find anywhere else. St. Patrick's Cathedral, also on Fifth Avenue, is a landmark of the Catholic faith in the U.S. It's an example of Gothic Revival architecture designed by James Renwick, Jr. Its design includes classic Gothic elements such as pointed arches, ribbed vaults, flying buttresses, and intricate stonework, which attract and fascinate those who see it. The cathedral is also known for its large collection of stained glass windows, which cover over 2,800 square meters. These windows, some crafted by renowned artists from France and England, are not only beautiful to look at, but also tell biblical stories and tales of saints, enhancing the spiritual feel of the place. Right across from St. Patrick's Cathedral, Rockefeller Center has been a focal point for culture and business in New York City since the 1930s. Known for its striking Art Deco design, the center blends geometric shapes, 
balance, and ornate details in its buildings and art. One of its most beloved traditions is the annual Christmas tree lighting. Started in 1933, this event draws thousands and signals the beginning of the holiday season in the city. The outdoor ice skating rink, opened in 1936, is another winter favorite, offering a unique skating experience in the heart of New York. Rockefeller Center is more than its famous ice rink and Christmas tree. It's a hub for shopping and dining, with everything from high-end stores to diverse eateries. It's also a key business center, housing major companies, law firms, and media outlets. For amazing city views, the Top of the Rock Observation Deck at 30 Rockefeller Plaza is a must-visit. Its three levels offer clear sights of Central Park and the Empire State Building, making it a rival to other famous viewpoints in the city. Central Park, at the core of Manhattan, spans 843 acres and is a marvel of landscape design. Created by Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Vox in the 1800s, it was America's first major landscaped public park. The park boasts various landscapes, from meadows and woods to lakes, ponds, and gardens, forming a vibrant ecosystem amidst the city. It's a haven for different bird species and wildlife. At the park's center, Bethesda Terrace overlooks the lake, highlighted by the magnificent Bethesda Fountain. The terrace, with detailed carvings symbolizing the seasons and times of day, is a favorite spot for visitors and photographers alike. Central Park is a hub for outdoor activities, offering 58 miles of paths, 21 playgrounds, ice skating rinks, a pool, boat rentals, sports courts, and fields, appealing to every age and interest. The park is also a venue for cultural and recreational events all year, including free concerts, theater shows at the Delacorte Theater, famous for Shakespeare in the Park, and the New York City Marathon's finish line. Just a short walk from the southern edge of Central Park, you'll find the Museum of Modern Art, MoMA, a world leader in modern and contemporary art. Established in 1929, MoMA is known for its cutting-edge exhibitions and for being a trendsetter in the art world, often introducing the public to new art movements. The museum's collection is a comprehensive snapshot of modern and contemporary art, spanning architecture, design, drawing, painting, sculpture, photography, prints, illustrated books, film, and electronic media. Highlights include Vincent van Gogh's The Starry Night, Pablo Picasso's Les Demoiselles d'Avignon, and Salvador Dali's The Persistence of Memory. The Chrysler Building, nestled in Midtown Manhattan, alongside the Empire State Building and Rockefeller Center, is celebrated for its Art Deco design, a style it shares with these iconic neighbors. Named for Walter P. Chrysler, the automobile magnate, its design features elements reminiscent of the automotive industry, such as hubcaps, fenders, and stylized depictions of cars and radiator caps. One of the building's standout features is its distinctive crown, composed of seven radiating arches made from Narasta stainless steel, a material that was innovative at the time. The spire, which was assembled in secret to achieve the title of the world's tallest building, further accentuates its elegant and unique silhouette. Upon its completion in 1930, the Chrysler Building momentarily held the title of the world's tallest building, thanks to the last-minute addition of its 125-foot spire. However, this achievement was short-lived, as the Empire State Building surpassed it in 1931. Close to the Chrysler Building, Grand Central Terminal isn't just a place to catch a train. The terminal shows off Beaux-Arts style with detailed decorations, big stairways, and impressive statues. The main area, known for its high ceiling painted with star constellations, stands out the most. This ceiling is especially well known, painted with the stars of the Mediterranean sky as they appear from October to March. It has over 2,500 stars, but interestingly, the whole scene is painted in reverse. This has led to a lot of stories and guesses about why it was done this way.
Hudson Yards, on Manhattan's west side, is one of the boldest and most significant private building ventures in American history. Starting in 2019, it was built on a platform above the West Side Yard, where Long Island Railroad trains are kept. This project has dramatically changed New York City's skyline, creating a new, modern area from scratch. One of the features of Hudson Yards is The Vessel, a sculpture and public artwork by Thomas Heatherwick that looks like a giant beehive or a futuristic ship. The vessel breaks from traditional monument designs by inviting people to climb and discover it. It's made up of 154 connecting staircases, about 2,500 steps and 80 platforms, encouraging visitors to interact with it by moving and exploring. At 150 feet tall, roughly 46 meters, the vessel has 15 levels offering different views. This design lets people see the artwork from various angles and enjoy wide views of the Hudson Yards area, the Hudson River, and the Manhattan skyline. At Hudson Yards, you'll find the highest outdoor sky deck in the Western Hemisphere, known as Edge. This impressive platform, opened in March 2020, is located at an astonishing height of 1,100 feet, around 335 meters, and juts out from the 100th floor of 30 Hudson Yards. Hudson Yards isn't just about offering jaw-dropping views. It also features luxury living spaces with the latest comforts, creating a complete lifestyle for both residents and professionals in the area. This development enhances Manhattan's west side connectivity and links with the High Line, providing easy access to this popular elevated park. The High Line is a unique park in Manhattan's west side, built on an old elevated railway. This railway was made in the 1930s to make the streets safer by moving freight trains up and away from traffic. In 2009, it was turned into a park, showing how we can reuse old structures to make valuable green spaces in the city. Walking on the High Line lets you see the city and the Hudson River from a different angle. Its high position lets you look down on the streets and between buildings. The park's design keeps its train history alive, with old tracks included in the landscape, benches that look like they're rising from the ground, and platforms that jut out over the streets. The High Line has also helped the nearby areas grow economically, bringing new life to the west side. And that wraps up our journey through the best of New York City. Which place we talked about is your favorite? Or maybe there's a special spot we didn't mention. Share your thoughts and finds in the comments. And remember, hit the like button and subscribe for more explorations in New York City and beyond.